Tomorrow, I'm gonna attempt to run a half marathon without having done any training. The last time I ran anywhere was probably a month ago, and I think I ran three kilometers and then I got winded. And based on that experience, I thought, why not run a half marathon? But actually, why am I doing this? That's such a good question. I don't really know. 90% of my motivation comes from the fact that I already told like 10 people that I was planning to run this half marathon. And I know people are gonna ask me, well, how did that half marathon go? And what am I supposed to say? Oh, I just didn't do it. I can't do that. Why I'm also doing this is because I need to find a hobby and I thought a sport for me could be a good hobby because my current hobby, if you could classify it as such, is just sitting in my bed. So I thought maybe I should pick up a sport and I was thinking about the sports that seemed attractive to me and honestly, they were few and far between. I thought running could be a contender because, well, think about it, running, low startup costs. You don't need a lot of equipment with it. What do you need, a pair of running shoes? I already have that, so you know, just off the bat, we're good to go. Running is also a sport that you can do alone, no problem. Me, I don't like exercising around people. I feel like it's a journey I need to go through alone and I can do that with running. Another reason why I was attracted to running is because you can do it anywhere. You don't need to be in a certain facility or have a special kind of equipment with you always. All you need is a pair of running shoes and a road. So for all of these reasons, I was attracted to running. One thing that I'm not so attracted to about this sport is the actual act of running, you know? And that really leads me to why I'm undertaking this endeavor. I thought if I could get a half marathon out of the way, you know, that's 21K. When I went to go and run the next time, say I went to run a 5K or a 10K, you know, the following in the following couple of days, as I'm running that 5 or 10K, I'm gonna be like, wow, this is a walk in the park compared to that 21K I ran last week. And I feel like that will give me a sense of motivation to continue with the sport. You know, like in baseball where the baseball player, before they get up to bat, they put that weight on their bat and they're swinging with the weight so that when they take off the weight, when they go up to the plate, when they swing, it's much lighter. That's kind of how I'm using this 21K. This is my weight so that the next time when I go and run a reasonable amount, it's gonna feel like swinging without my weight on the bat. So what have I done to prepare for tomorrow morning? Number one, I laid out my outfit. I picked out my outfit and then I laid it out, so we're good to go. Number two, I ordered some water bottles off of Amazon that fit into my running vest so that we're hydrated. And the last thing I did to prepare tonight was I ate a bagel because I read online that you need to carb load before your run. So I just ate a bagel and then tomorrow before my run, I'm gonna eat another one. And what are my goals for this journey? I think I think my only true goal is to finish the 21k to actually run that distance in terms of time I don't really have a goal I mean if I actually finish it it's not gonna be a good time I already know that I'm trying to aim for a sub three hours I told my husband my goal was to have a sub three hour half marathon two hour 55 minutes I'd be thrilled with my husband he's like very intense in everything he does and he's done like full Ironmans that include a half marathon on them after you do a bunch just swimming and biking and he was like when he heard about my sub three hour goal he was like well when I did my iron man blah 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 I did sub two hour you can definitely do sub two hour blah 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 I'm like you know what babe that's really nice that you believe in me but you obviously don't know anything about me if you think I am gonna go and run a half marathon with no training and get it in sub two hour like you married a stranger, if that's what you think. So yeah, sub three hour is what we're going for, but what we're really going for is just completion. And now what am I gonna do? I'm gonna go to bed, but first I have to make my playlist. I almost forgot, I have to make a running playlist, a three hour long running playlist, maybe three and a half, give me a 30 minute buffer. And then I'm gonna watch the new episode of Summer House and then go to bed. But we will circle back tomorrow morning. I'll catch up with you guys right before the big run. Hey you guys, it's race day. Can't you tell my hair's in braids? We got my coffee and my grumpy kid mug, of course. Mmm, tastes like a half marathon runner. And what are we gonna have for breakfast? A bagel, carbs. And what am I feeling today? Regret, regret, lots of regret. Why couldn't I think of anything else to do for a video? No, I had to attempt to run a half marathon when I'm not a runner. But at least I gotta eat a bagel. Here's my coach, you guys. Here's my running coach, honey. Oh yeah. And we have an illicit affair.
My cat's playing with the hair tie right now. Go get them raisin. So I'm gonna eat this. I have to post something on my TikTok, um, my daily vlog, and then we're gonna head out. But I was making a playlist last night, my half marathon playlist, God willing. And I wish you could, there was a feature on Spotify where you could cut off the like intro and outro to a song to just get to the, the juice of the song. But is there that feature? I didn't Google it. I should probably Google it. I'm gonna Google it. Okay, Spotify option playlist get rid of song intro outro how to crossfade tracks on spotify launch the spotify okay so we're we're in business you guys okay spotify lets users crossfade tracks or eliminate the silence between songs so that the music never stops to begin launch the spotify app and tap the home button hit settings then pick playback okay let's do this settings where is that where are my settings settings and privacy okay hit settings then pick playback okay we're on playback under crossfade oh here we go okay we're gonna do a 12 second look at this crossfade 12 seconds bagel has been eaten now we're gonna get changed i'm gonna have to redo my braids okay so now it's time to get changed for this thing what am i gonna be wearing i have these lululemon running shorts they're my favorite running shorts i love that they kind of have a longer compression layer and then the flowy layer on top so these are the shorts for my top i'm just gonna wear again another just like a lululemon tank top here i wish i had a long sleeve if i had a long sleeve i'd be wearing that but i don't so tank top it is i have this lululemon running vest not because i'm a runner but i had to film a sponsored content where i was pretending to be a runner and then i got this vest so i would look professional but it's coming in handy so we're good to go we got the top of the line running vest here and then for my shoe i just have these hoka pro flies we are probably going to need some reinforcements so i have these gels they're like cliff gels um, my husband had these i think from cycling so he gave me three i was like maybe i need four but he's like you're probably going to be okay with three he's like if you need more than three maybe you should come home i have this mio energy in case you know i really need an extra energy boost these are the headphones that i'm going to be using they're like the wireless beats the buds i have over the ear headphones which are better headphones they're like the sony i don't know the model of them but they're very good headphones but i didn't want to get them so sweaty so i'm just gonna be using these beats instead i have these water bottles that these are the ones that i ordered off of amazon i've never used them i really hope they don't leak but we will see they're just filled up with regular old water david said I could put Gatorade in them, but I'm just gonna put water. Finally, we have these Oakley shades. I'm gonna use these. It's actually raining right now, so that will be great. These are my husband's. I actually bought them for him, but these are for cycling. But I was like, can I use these? And he said yes, so they're for running today. But now I'm gonna get changed, and then we'll be ready to go. Okay, we got the base on. Now we gotta put on our vest here. We look profesh. At least we look the part, like I said. Okay, now where where do these things go? Hmm. I need a deep pocket for this one. Okay, we'll put her in here. So what route am I gonna take? There's a park near us. There's like a loop in the park and it's two kilometers. So I'm just gonna do 10, I guess 10 and a half loops of that. Is this working? I've decided to take it off and then pack it because that wasn't working. Okay, pro tip, pack your vest when it's not on your body. Now, all of my gels, where are these gonna go? In a place that is easily accessible. Why are we doing this? So many regrets. Okay, gels are going in here near the water bottle. We got my Mio Energy. Now this way's like, this is, I'm doing a half marathon with a weighted vest at this point. This thing's heavy, but okay, we are ready. Okay, wait, no, now we are ready. Tell me why it's literally raining out right now. It's actually raining. You know what, that'll add to it. Okay, but I gotta get out there before we have torrential downpour. So I'll be taking my phone with me um, on the run. So I'll see you then. Okay, it was fully raining. So I had to put on a jacket and a hat. And now I'm just walking to the park to start my laps. So I'm here at the park. Each lap is two kilometers, so I just need to do 10 and a half laps and then we're done. Okay, go, let's do it, let's go. And I'll check in with you guys after every second lap. Okay, we did one lap, we are 2K in. 
I thought I would feel better, but I don't. <laughs> so we will check back in on lap three. Okay, we are six kilometers in. I have a cramp. I'm gonna take one of these. Hopefully this brings me back to life. Okay, we've gelled up. We're gonna start running again. I walked probably, I don't know, a quarter of a lap. Um, I still have a cramp, but we are six kilometers deep. I thought this would be easier for sure. We are over halfway there. I think I'm on kilometer 12 right now, but it's the rain has stopped. So I'm gonna find somewhere to stash my jacket. I found these benches. I'm just gonna put my jacket on here. Hopefully no one takes it, we'll see. Okay, I feel so much better with the jacket on. Oh, okay. My hair is messed up, but we're just gonna keep going. And while I stopped, I'm gonna take another gel. These are so good. It's just like, it tastes like um, Nesquik. Mm. After I took one of these the first time, I felt so much better. I was flying. The first 10K was hard, <laughs> but now that I'm on like the second half of that first 10K, I only have 8K left, I feel a lot better. But I set my Strava to bike by accident, but. I didn't want to change it midway through because I didn't know if that would erase the progress. Okay, but we're going to get back to it. I'll see you when I see you. I was going to do little catch-ups every lap, but this is kind of a journey. A spiritual journey, so I could only take the phone out when it was the right time. So I'll see you when I see you, you guys. But only AK left. I hope no one takes her. Okay, we are on kilometer 16. I want to go home. I'm going to take my last gel on kilometer 18 and then power through it and then we're done. See you guys at the gel. Okay, you guys, we are at 18k. I'm going to have my last gel. Then we're going to sprint these last 3k because I want to get the fuck out of here. I don't know what I had to prove, but I proved it. See you guys at the finish line. Last kilometer, we're over 20. I think we're 20.2K. A girl came up to me and she was like, I love your shorts. I'm like, thanks, they're Lulu. So we're just gonna run back to the bleachers and let's see if my jacket's still there. You guys, we did it, 21K on the nose. Oh my God, I cannot feel my legs. Now I'm just walking back over to the bleachers to see if my jacket's still there. She's still there, you guys. We got the jacket. And now it's actually pouring rain. So I'm gonna walk home and we'll debrief about this journey when I get back. We'll see you soon. Okay, we are back. That was a horrible experience. I don't know why I chose to do that. You know, when I hit the 10K mark and I realized I still had 11K more left to run, I was just like, really? I couldn't think of a different video idea. I needed to subject myself to this for the sake of content, but we did it, we finished. Um, now I'm just gonna kind of go over my time and my pace. My overall time was two hours, 49 minutes. My average pace was eight minutes a kilometer. My fastest kilometer was kilometer five. Um, I did that one in seven minutes and my slowest kilometer was kilometer 19 that I did in nine minutes and 55 seconds. I would say the hardest kilometers for me were between eight and 12K because you know, I got to eight, I ran out of energy. I was like, I'm not even halfway done. Then I got to 10K and I was like, oh my God, I have to do this all over again but then once i got to 12k i was like okay we're on the other side i can see a light at the end of this tunnel and then after that i just wanted to get it over with honestly i was like i need to go home it didn't help that it was pouring rain that was crazy i was running for i would probably say 90 percent 95 percent of the time because i found out after the first time i walked um that starting up running again after walking is way worse than just running through it so I tried to run as much as I could. When I took a gel, I would walk. But other than that, I was like, we just we just need to get out of here. But yeah, I can't believe I did that. This is the video. Now comment below what next challenge I should take on. Let me know in the comments. Not a full marathon. We are not doing a full marathon because that would be crazy. But anything else.